Good day everyone, today I will be discussing to you the isosceles triangles. So let us familiarize our isosceles triangle. So let's say we have the triangle ABC. By definition, isosceles triangle have what we call the legs. So our legs here are equal. So this is our leg and the other leg. And this is what we call the vertex angle. Vertex angle. And the two here are the base angles. Okay. The two angles is our base angles. So we also have the isosceles triangle theorem. Our theorem, base angles of an isosceles triangles are congruent. That means in our given figure, angle A is congruent to angle C because the two angles is our or are our base angles. And the legs of an isosceles triangle are congruent. That means in this case, segment AB is congruent to segment BC. Okay, that is our theorem, isosceles triangle theorem. Now let's have our first example. In the figure here, let's say A, B, okay, sorry. So A, B, C, okay. In the given figure, if B, C, B, C is congruent to B, A, okay, find X. So in this case, this will lead to isosceles triangle because the two legs are equal. Now we have the given base angles. So in our theorem, base angles are congruent. So our base angle here is angle C and angle A. So angle C is equal to angle, angle C is equal to angle A. So our angle A is 5x minus 10 and our angle C is 4x plus 5. So for x, so 5x, positive 4, move to the left, that will become negative 4x. Is equal to 5, plus uh, negative 10, will become positive 10 here. So 5x minus 4x, that is x, is equal to 5 plus 10, that is 15. So the value of x here is 15. Let us proceed to our example number three, and number two and number three. Our next example, we're going to find X. So given the triangle RST, so our base angles, angle S and angle T are equal, and we have the legs. Okay, we know that legs of an isosceles triangles are congruent so we have sr is congruent to rt okay now we have the given measurement for sr we have 3x minus 13 that is equal to rt to x solve for x we have 3x minus 2x is equal to 13. 3x minus 2x, that is x, is equal to 13. Okay. Next, example number 3. We have a triangle PQR. Our legs, and we're going to find x. We know that this is our base angle. Okay. If this is 2x, the other base angle is also 2x. We need to find for x. So we have three angles. So we have the given. Then recall the definition of the sum of the interior angles. The sum of the interior angles is equal to 180 degrees. So if I were going to add 2x plus 2x plus 40, that is 180. 
So 2x plus 2x, that is 4x plus 40, is equal to 180. 4x is equal to 180, I suppose, minus 40. 4x is equal to 140. Now, to get x, divide by 4. So x is equal to 70 over 2. 70 over 2 is 35. Okay. 35 degrees is the value of our x. If you want to substitute, then we have 2 times 35, 70 plus 70, that is 140, plus 40, 180. So correct, x is 35 degrees. So that is the isosceles triangle. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.